Hey everyone, welcome to Atlas Gaming. Please like and subscribe. I release content every day. We're playing Killing Floor 2 because I think this game will go on sale during the Steam Winter Sale coming up soon. It'll be on sale for $10 if it does go on sale. It's originally or normally $30, even though this game was released four years ago in 2016. Uh, it's still a really good game. There's a large player base, ton of people playing. And there's a lot to this game. There are a lot of ins and outs, and it's been a long time since I've played this. Um, I, I played it a lot. And so anyway, I think this is a good game. And if you don't know about it, you should check it out because uh, it, it's a good buy at $10. Um, let's see. So there are all these different classes. Right now, we're going to play the Firebug, just the flame, the Flamer, Flamethrower guy. And uh, these are all the different perks. Um, they all have this kind of setup where you can see they all have a lot of different perks to unlock. And um, this they have, let's see, they have a lot of different perks, and you have to unlock them. And so there are heavy RPG aspects, I guess, in that sense. Uh, gear, there's a bunch of different um, cosmetic stuff you can equip. I don't know what any of this is. <laughs> anyway, here's a bunch of stuff. Um, like I said, I've played this game a lot, so I, I've got a lot of things. doesn't matter. Let's get into this. Let's uh, find a match. And we're just going to play survival. There are different game modes. There are challenges where you get, um, you know, extra things, cosmetics, extra rewards besides just leveling up your characters. Uh, there are, yeah, different difficulties. They get insanely hard as you get up there. Uh, I just wanted to say real quick, quick go back the endless mode uh, i liked a lot um just i mean you can just sit there and just fight endless waves of guys of enemies and they get progressively harder and uh, it's a good way to level up and then you can choose your length so if you only have a few minutes before work or you know whatever then you can just do a short match of four waves uh we're gonna do any though survival normal difficulty in any searching for a game again with the fire bug and, yeah, so I just want to just reiterate, I'm not showcasing my skills. This is not a tutorial. This is just to say, like, hey, this game still exists. It's still immensely popular. They're still releasing events. Okay. Or uh, they still have events, seasonal type stuff. And match is over. Okay, so we'll get into the next one. But yeah, this is kind of like uh, like Payday 2, if you ever played that game, where like the game is old, but there's just so many people still playing it, and they have so much DLC they constantly release, they have events, and there's still a lot of support from the developers, and that is the case here. Okay, so we're readied up, and so basic the basic mechanic is that we go through, we fight waves of zombies... We survive. Based on how many zombies each player kills, they earn money. Um, and it's just money that you use in that round. I'm going to wait for players here. So you just use the money in that round or in that game. So we're going to do three players. And, and then you use it to uh, buy armor, buy better weapons, buy ammo, everything. And we have a, uh, it's a, it's a caulking gun. Oh, shoot. It's a caulking gun flamethrower, which is pretty interesting. You have a quick heal, which is a Q. And then there's also a combat, the field medic, which is my favorite class. Um, you kind of have slow-mo every once in a while. I don't know what triggers that. Like I said, I've forgotten a lot of the ins and outs in this game. But as the flamer, you can the firebug, you can set the ground on fire, which does additional damage to other zombies. It's an AOE type thing. And then so we have a pistol, and so this is kind of like, I guess, kind of like Counter Strike, you know, like that sense where you you earn money per round depending on how you do. Got the Counter Strike way back in the day. I don't know what. Um, the current Counter-Strike is like, it's been a long time since I played that game, but... So, we earned money. This little blue trail is taking us to the vending machine, basically. Oh, I forgot to sprint. And, uh... You'll see here in a second, but... 
we have a lot of different weapons available to us as the class, and they cost different amounts of money. And so here we go. These are all of our different weapon options over here. You can see the red ones. Obviously, we don't have enough for that one because it costs 900 We have $730. However, I can sell the cock and burn if I want. But I won't. I'm going to buy the Dragon's Breath, the shotgun. This is a pump-action shotgun. I think it has like a six-round magazine. So we'll get that one, and then we also have to fill up ammo. And we're out of money. <laughs> that was it. It's okay, though. We'll we'll sell these weapons, and then we'll buy something with uh, the remaining money. Next round. Oh, shoot. Where'd my teammate go? Okay. <laughs> this is... Um, it, it helps a lot. Not so much in the normal difficulty, but it helps a lot in higher difficulties to stay together. We're in round 2 out of 10. We probably won't go all 10 in this video, but... Throw a Molotov here. Whoop. Another one. Whoop. <laughs> right on the money. And then we're going to switch over to our Dragon's Breath shotgun. Right now they're running a seasonal event. And so everything looks like it's um, like gingerbread men and candy canes and stuff. I like it. I like when games do that kind of stuff. It adds a, it adds a lot for me. And then so you're... It's, it's co-op, right? But... You are competing against your teammates to do well. It's kind of like an incentive to do the best that you can. So that way you get as much money as possible. And you're able to upgrade your weapons. And so let's see. We're going to wait for that blue arrow. There she is. Okay. So you can see in the bottom right, we got $588 from that round. Let's see, we, we cannot get a flamethrower. What is a scorcher? Oh, that's just a pistol. So what we're going to do, uh, we're going to conserve our money a little bit here. So we're going to buy Dragon's Breath. No, we're not. We're just going to buy flamethrower ammo, and that's it. And that way, next round, we'll set ourselves up. Uh, to get the flamethrower. The flamethrower is really good. I like that one a lot. Again, we, we're probably going to be that guy and ditch these two players. We will, we're not going to go the full 10 rounds in this video. But yeah, in case you haven't seen the other videos, I'm making a series. Uh, I'm basically handpicking games from my personal Steam library. Of uh, games that I've played a lot. Oh, what's that? And, oh, yeah, what is that? Can I get that? Okay, and so we got a, a special objective here. Oh, we're in it right now, the purple. So we need to keep the Zeds out of this area. They're just, just the zombies. But yeah, so I'm picking, hand-picking games out of my personal library that I've really enjoyed. Um, that are kind of like oldies but goodies. And uh, they're still very much alive. If you can get them on sale, then they're they're really good purchases as far as games go. I like to stop. Oh, let's get out the flamethrower. I like to fill up my uh, wish list with a bunch of different games that I'm you know that I wish for, and then when they when they go on sale, like on a big Steam sale, like the winter sale or the summer sale, then I buy them, and then that way I just kind of have. A bunch of games available to play when I want. And then there's a quick heal function here. I'm going to press Q. And you can see I... Uh, I don't know what the heck that is. But they heal up. And it's nice whenever you don't have a, a medic. And you can see there are different types of zombies. And if this weren't the Christmas event where everything looks different, then you would see they're, they're a lot better, I think, represented... But this is the kind of game where people play it a ton. And so most people who play this game, I think, um, probably know what everything looks like. Like, you know, what, what the monster is based on its movements and everything. 
So we'll go here. We will buy. Like I said, we're going to sell this. Oh, we got a lot of money that round. Nice. Okay, we're going to sell the cock and burn, and we're going to get the flamethrower. And then we will... Let's see here. Yeah, I'm going to refill these. And that's it. We have $86 left. You know what? Let's... Oh, we have a field medic right there. Let's switch it up right here. We're going to go... Um, no, we're not because we have the weapons that we want. If we switch, I don't know how that'll work with the money. We probably won't have the same upgrades or uh, the equivalents for that class because every class has different weapons available to them. So we're just going to stick with this one. This will be our last round, and then um, I'll call the video, and then we'll uh, I'll make another one with a different class. Having... Oh, how, what is that gun? That gun's awesome. Okay, so here's our special objective. But having two field medics in one group, it's kind of redundant, especially on this difficulty. We're on normal with uh, without a full squad. So we have five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. And so the maximum is six. It'd be really cool if we melted the snow. Jeez. <laughs> that really slowed down. Again, this is Killing Floor 2. This was released in 2016. It's normally $30 on Steam, but you can get it in a Steam sale for 10 bucks. Pretty sweet. I was looking at the DLC, and there is, um, <laughs> there's like, it's like $125 if you buy the game and all the DLC. There's a lot of DLC. And so you can hear kind of like the narrator, that female voice in the background. She said... The area remained totally secure. It means that we got our objective for that special quest. Or, you know, the special objective. Just to keep zombies out of this area that we're in right now. You get extra money, extra... I think extra experience. You know, just more rewards. And you can see right now in the upper left, we have one left in the wave. And we're on four out of ten. So this is the guy. Someone else got him. And that's it. Thanks for watching Atlas Gaming. I do appreciate it. Please like and subscribe. Check out my other videos uh, for Steam Sale Games. Yeah, I release content every day. I'll see you in the next one.